Look at this little guy chilling, hanging his arm over here, just living his life. He's like, he's like, I, I don't gotta do anything. I got no favors, no responsibilities. I'm just gonna lay here and dangle my feet. My little toe beans. Yeah, then you got this guy, Snap. What are you doing? You trying to go outside? Well, too bad because you can't. Oh, Bill. You can't. No. I don't. So I've been wanting to get the cats. I saw on TikTok like these things that where they can like press it and it'll be like outside, or it could be like oh my flex. gosh. And I'm telling you, Snap would understand it because he is one of the most smartest cats I've ever came across. Like he would know. No, Mariah really wants to spend so much money no, on it's not a lot of money. this you know device how much money it is. I didn't even that. Get it up yet. She, babe, I'm telling you right now, these cats are gonna go up to it and press on food, food, and they're not gonna know what it means. Yes, they do because Snap knows. Watch outside, and he waved by the door. He waved. <laughs> that was lucky. Listen, that was no. lucky. No. Don't even say it. you know, Bill. Baby. You know how the cats are. He'll be all the way out here, but like, Snap, don't go outside. Okay. And he runs. So you want to wake up to that at 4 a.m. in the morning? You want to be like, I would oh. Only put it out during the day, like when we're awake. Like I would only put it. Where out are you gonna put it? In the middle of the floor? Yeah. When they they want something that I know, like if they need to go poo poo or they're hungry or like this will be a way to communicate. All right, well, stay tuned. We'll see if we get some sort of button device, device that the cats could respond to, to us outside. with. They know who you want to go outside? Well, you can't because no. we're. <laughs> what? I was just saying. So mean. What is good, Mama Squad? Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to our, our channel. channel. So before we do anything today, I want to show you the finished kitchen tour because uh, I guess our kitchen's not fully finished because we do have a little cabinet door missing. Yeah. But it's basically done. It's basically done, guys. And it has been a long journey. Like, Bill had this kitchen looking like a train wreck for a week. This is what the kitchen used to look like compared to what it looks like now. And it's freaking crazy, the transformation. Mariah, do you want to take them through? You could be the little model for the video because you do be yeah. looking cute. I don't know I'm what. What are my you shirt doing? Because my shirt is about to come undone. You want me to flash the marble spot? I mean, shoot, I I, I wouldn't mind. <laughs> <Both there. laughs> okay, so Bill is still in the process of putting new LEDs under. You the like cabinets. how she said, Bill? That's just so she doesn't have to do any of the work. It's like, oh because, yeah, Bill, Bill's gonna do it. Because you messed up the other ones that okay. were on here. You messed up the coloring, anyways. Okay, so, yeah, I did. Bill. Well, you know what? I'm gonna take credit for it. I did the backsplash all by myself. No, you did. Okay. I had no yep. help. You know, I was I was doing duties yep. in the house. Okay. So Mariah, so tell what? Us what you think? Okay. Uh, let me let me let's let's grade Mariah's backsplash work. Cause last time you saw the kitchen, you saw the new countertops, but you didn't see the the backsplash. Let's see how she did. Damn, honestly, this backsplash is flawless, babe. Right, like, saying. it's honestly better than, like, it's like professionally done. Yeah, like, I know. Like, if you actually did this, like, did this, this looks like a professional video. I did. Video. I did. Oh, you did? I did. Okay, yeah, I remember she did. What's it called? So, how do you stick it to the wall? How does it Plaster. Even... Plaster. And, like, okay. And, like, um, you you have to, like, take off the, the, the things on them and you stick them and you, you make patterns and you make. You make the pattern. Okay, well, if you any of you guys do want to hire me to do your black <laughs> backsplash, I would do a really good job. See, I wasn't gonna quite say that. I would actually disregard that statement because if any of you guys actually do backsplash, you don't stick it to the wall with plaster. That's what you patch holes in the wall for. You stick it with mortar or like oh. some sort of like grout adhesive. Or, anyways, anyways you guys know the kitchen is done. Like. Okay, we're we're spending too much time on this. Yeah, Mariah did not do it. I did the backsplash, but she was my it moral was support. Better than just the ugly like rip off wall. I'm so excited. And you mean the regular paint? Yeah. The regular but wall. It looks ripped off because remember the counter came all the way up. Oh there? yeah, the ugly so yellow cool. counter. Guys, look at how amazing it blends. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. I, I am so that. excited and I'm so glad because I even ended it with like this cool metal strip. Honestly, so it just ties I think everything that looks together. Slick. It's kind of like a finished look. Like it's not just like floating. A lot of people mean? don't finish it with like anything here. It's just like cuts off. It's just done. But no, I like, I feel like put this, this nice metal weird edge. If you didn't do that, because then what like then you would this. I know it's like what is it supposed to keep going yeah, or whatever. But fair. this is the finished kitchen. We still gotta get a door. But as you saw, we uh, we never had a double pull out trash bin and we have been using oh it a God, lot. We're so excited Got a about tons that. of drawers, our new sink, which is finally empty. I did the dishes. Okay, because I've been gone doing my nails, guys. Yeah. Okay. The nails. <laughs> yeah, let's see the nails, actually. I wanted to do before and after, but I guess we the forgot. after 
is gross. good enough. So these are honestly one of my favorites. These are one of my favorites too. They, they look good. I know. Not as good as you though. Like no no material item can make this girl look oh, any better than she already is. You are so sweet, baby. I love you. Thank you I so love you much. Too. Now, can we go to Starbucks? Really? Oh, that's Maybe I'm, I'm not even gonna get into it. I'm not, she has a Starbucks addiction. No. Addiction. You know what? That's you, gross to you. How many times this week? About, how many times this week have you had Starbucks? Tell me right now. Once. And that Cat. was on. Listen, that Cat. was on Tuesday when I got went to go get my hair done. That was so that was yesterday. All right, so what about the last week? I don't even remember because I didn't go off. Probably like six times. Let me see what you're addicted to. What are you addicted what to? What am I addicted Annoying to? Annoying me. Oh, that's a bad addiction. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm addicted to making the house look better. I'm addicted to hyping up the Marble Squad no, and being an awesome something. videographer. You do something. I, I'm, I'm, I'm so addicted to you today. and your body. I'm addicted well, to. Nice. You. You're welcome. I'm just. A, I'm. I'm good at. Now, I'm a good addict. Can we go to Please. <sighs> I don't know how I could say no to that pretty face. I can't. You can't. So, take <laughs> so we wanted to go to Starbucks, but we ended up somehow at Target, and we already have a handful of stuff. We yeah. always do this where we don't go and grab a cart. Wait, there's a Starbucks in Target, so it works out perfect. I know, but why, why? Why do we have to always come to Target? Because Target's the best. <laughs> it's literally her daily it spending and habit. You know it's your daily Starbucks and Target. Yeah. We need to take a detox. You need to get a detox. Because you bring me here, that's why. Who wanted to come to Target? You today. Yeah, not but you me. look at now I'm you're grabbing away, stuff. Now you're I bet you by the time that we leave, you'll have way more than that in your hands. Nah. So guys, you guys already know I got my pink drink. Of look course. at look at she how cute she wrote want. my name with the heart. I love it. I love this girl. She's so good. She made it perfect today. Okay, if I worked at Starbucks, I would do the same for you. Okay. What I can't hype anyone else, someone else up. Oh, I love you. this girl oh, better than me. I want to see you hype me up. I've been hyping you up all day. Okay, Bill told Your me turn. to turn on the camera, so what did okay, you- Okay, I'm sorry, okay. I really wanted to expose Mariah, though, in saying that for the first time, like two nights ago, I heard Mariah's cute little ass snoring. She fell asleep. I always fell, fall asleep before her. She fell asleep before me this time. Well, okay, let me, hold and... on, let me get a background before. So I have to sleep on my back now, on my side and my side, because I do have lash extensions, and my whole life I've been sleeping on my stomach. So I feel like back sleepers tend to do this thing that Bill's about to say, so that's why he's never heard me it. do this. I already said it. What you, story? You, you snoring your ass off that one night. I barely, I was like, damn, I wish I fell asleep because like you were kind of loud. Was I that loud? Yeah. I, I was able to fall asleep though. I just like kind of tuned it out, but like it was cute because all of a sudden you can tell when they just fall asleep, <laughs> they start going like, <laughs> and, then, and then it was like, ew, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> it was like, it's like a snorting sound. So. It was cute. Like I said, I have to sleep on my back and my side now, and you've never seen me sleep like that. So of course you're gonna hear me do that because people who sleep on their back, they don't. I feel like they tend to I snore wish I more. It. Next time she does it, I'm did gonna, you fall asleep before me I'm last whip, night? I'm gonna whip out the camera. And you record fell asleep it. before me last yeah, night. I did. He's like, oh, I'm staying up so I can record you, and I'm like, don't do that because then you're gonna make me not fall asleep. Guys, and then you know what I hear it two minutes later? Me? Yes, but oh, I wake up sometimes and I have to, <laughs> and I have to tell Bill to turn over to his side because he's like choking on it. Like, okay, on okay. His spit. It's not bad. It yes, is not it is. Bad, You're like no. this. That, no, that is total not accurate represent. This is supposed to be about you, not about me. Know? Wait, how do you know? How do you know? How do you know how you snore? Because you are asleep, <laughs> so you don't know how you snore. Okay, but you said it was not bad before. It's just like a little like No, you're, sniffle. You, you get bad. Okay. You get pretty bad. Okay. Well, now maybe not. Maybe I was over exaggerating it just a little bit. A lot of it. But you're you still snore. Not that much. <laughs> All right, guys. So before we get on to what Bill is going to open up to you guys about, so as you guys know, I don't know if you guys remember. A couple of vi wait, wait, we said last, last video, video we, we said that we, we said we just got a picture camera but it's also a camera that we want to use when we do like sit down videos like this so what do you guys think so this is we're recording on the new camera right now tell us how it looks and we'll probably use it for a lot of more sit down type of videos but it's more for scenes, pictures but it's more for picture content for us yeah. like so for make Instagram. sure to follow us on Instagram yes. so you can see some of those bomb pictures that we're gonna take from this camera as you can see it's way better quality it's more sharp I I'm still tweaking the video Settings so if like one of our faces get blurred out. Sorry about that Like I'm new to cameras, but I know you guys clicked on the video for a certain reason and that reason is because I am balding 
<laughs> it's just it sounds so weird when it, when it, but okay, so I'm balding, right? It's a natural thing for guys and girls, women, men and women, but it mostly starts when you're like, what, 20 to 30? That's when you'll see it coming yeah. in, and then like. I mean, you're still young, you're still 21, but some yeah. people will get it when they're like your age. I mean, you're kind of are starting, your hair is thinning out just a little bit, but it's not to the point where it will be in the next couple of years. No, not at all. Like in my hair actually is better than my dad's because when my dad was my age, he already had like half of his head gone. So oh my, my dad is not fully bald. My grandpa wasn't fully bald, but they had a receding hairline all the way to probably about like what here. So my dad's side is all like that. And I'm assuming I have the same genes because not that I'm like, my hair's receding, but I was born with a huge forehead and people watching this like, I know having a large forehead literally is like my all time biggest insecurity. Now I've been made fun of since I was a kid for being fat and also my forehead, those are like the two main things. And for some reason, by the way, I was a chubby kid. For <laughs> some reason, my forehead has just been like always the biggest insecurity, mainly because when I go swimming, when I'm doing like something where the wind's blowing in my face, I always have to have a hat on. Or he's literally holding his hair down like this. Like there is so many times where he forgets his hat and his hand is literally here for like- I can't go outside so without, we without doing this or wearing a hat because like when the wind blows, it messes up my hair that I just made us look a certain way that I like you know so I like sad. styling my hair a certain way but like I can't style it when there's wind blowing at and me. And it's so sad because I feel like you use a whole bottle of hairspray on your hair just for it to stick. I use it a lot more hairspray so than I should use. It's not, I don't use a ton, but like no, I use like, more than an average person because yeah. I want to make it look good. Like I like the style that I have for my hair. Obviously it could be better, but I was not born and blessed with the genes of having amazing hair. So hey, congrats okay. to my gents out there that do. And if you don't care about it, then good for you because honestly you shouldn't care about how you look. You should in the sense of like, you know, Know, looking up front like a good you know nice nice standing person mm -hmm. but like when it comes to insecurities and stuff like I feel like everyone's just gonna have insecurities I and feel like everyone though we are just talking to Julie about this like hair is like a really big like thing like it makes you feel really confident like hair is so like I don't know how to that's, describe that's, it you can style it yeah you can, it makes you like hair changes a person oh yeah and a hundred percent like I've seen like the before and after videos of people that get surgery on their hair and it is insane how it changes the way a person looks for the better. I wouldn't say they look bad before, but like obviously if you change something for the better, it's gonna look better because like your goal is to get better. Like if you need plastic surgery because your ear grew in half the size of your other ear, you know what I mean? So like, do you wanna tell them what was called? Cool? Like what you're um, planning on doing? So there is a procedure that you can do. It's called a hair transplant procedure. And there's two different ways that they can do it. I forget the names, but obviously I'm gonna learn more about it. But they can do it, they, people call it plugs, which is basically oh, because they take each individual follicle from the back of your head. Like, he has a lot of hair in the back of Look at the back of, of my head. head. I he wish my forehead. So much hair. Look, like, look at this. Look, he has so much hair. Like hair for days, guys. It is hair for days. so thick in the back of my head. I have more hair than I know what to do with, okay? <laughs> yes. And it's so thick back there. It never will go away. It never will recede because my family, like my dad has thick hair back here. My grandpa does. He cuts it. He, my, hair, my dad's hair grows fast. Yeah, it's but crazy. But they take each individual follicle and they implant it up here and they basically create a hairline for you so they'll draw it out on your forehead they'll make it you know the way that you want to look and then they'll plant it in there boom six months to a year later you have amazing hair it sounds crazy it sounds are like it doesn't work do a hair are you gonna if you do your hairline are you gonna put your hairline farther down for yourself it depends on because a lot of people it look will look stupid if you put if I have like a two inch hairline oh, no, babe, my duh. hairline is gonna have to be like still that big we're gonna show you guys his hair in a second. He's gonna show you guys his hair. You wanna show him now? I didn't do it today because like I haven't done it, but my hair doesn't look bad. Okay, my okay, hair why looks don't you, are decent. You, okay, are you? Are, but, are you sure show? Yeah, me I'm just gonna show you. As you can see, I have a little receding right here in this corner, and receding right here. You can see my hair is like really thin right here. But like, basically when I do my hair, right, it looks goofy. Anyone's hair looks goofy when it's messed up. When I do my hair, it's like this. But when wind and stuff blows at my face, it basically just shoves all my hair on a, a certain area that it shouldn't be at. So like, it just looks like nothing there. And we actually had one TikTok video out of our whole life of doing hundreds of videos on TikTok. This one certain video, do you remember it? We had to I shut off the I comments. I remember it. We had to shut off the comments. Yeah. This was from like two or three years ago. We did a video where she dumped water on my head and my all my hair went back and when people I have when I have water on my head it makes your hair even look more thin people were so rude and it's it really was funny because people were like Shit. 
It's not me because yeah. my forehead. It's so sad that people really will try to drag you down for things like that. Like it's just so sad because like it's someone's like hair. Like you can't, you don't make fun of somebody like that. Like there's things that you can judge somebody for if they're doing something that's like whoa. Like, like if they're know? straight up being like an arrogant yeah, like, son of a like B a Karen, word. Like a Karen. Like a Karen. Like you yeah. Can, but like making, I just feel like making fun of people. Yeah, is, making fun of people is just in general. wrong. Like, Literally, like to me, to to some people, like calling out like different disorders or different like body weights or anorexia or how someone wants to view themselves that's the exact same feeling that i get if people i mean that's how i feel towards my forehead but i don't get like that like if you said like oh bill you have a big forehead your hair's receding i'm gonna be like okay like and well oh, good for you thank reason, you for telling me that the reason like, we turned off the comments was only because I didn't want Bill to keep reading them because it was like non-stop. It was just and, like, one video out of all of them. And it was like really bad. And I was like, Bill, just for well, that's your That's because you could health, actually see yeah. my forehead because my hair was wet and it was all slicked back. Yeah. Oh, it was a, it was it a was... crap show. But anyways, going back to the hair transplant, I have been thinking for like so long and it is, is expensive. It. It's like, it's like probably like 10 to 15 grand, right? So it's expensive. It's very, very pricey, but I'm thinking it's like, it's a life changing the rest of your life thing. When I'm 30, 40, 50, 60, when I'm 80 years old, I'm gonna have the best damn hair yeah, you will. out of every single person around me just because when they replace the back of your um, neck, like or not neck, but like head, that thick hair when it when it grows in, it also falls out and it regrows in thicker and thicker mm -hmm. and thicker. It's like shaving, even though people say that doesn't work. It, it grows in thicker every time, and like after a couple years, like your hair is gonna be looking like some Zac Efron before the plastic surgery, like hair. And you know we just I mean? wanted—I know Bill wanted to get on video and just talk to you guys about it because like 99.9% we'll be getting this procedure done this year. Hopefully, like he needs to still go in. We gotta find a place, get a consultation going, seeing how everything goes. I'm we just wanted... looking for a company right now. Yeah, we're, we just wanted to come on here and talk to you guys about it because this is something really exciting for Bill because I'm just really happy for him and I can't wait for you guys to be a part of this journey because guys, we're gonna be filming the whole process. You guys are gonna be a part of everything. Dude, this is gonna be exciting. Literally, you're gonna see, and I'll probably take some pictures with my hair always look back. It, it's really thin up front, right? Yeah. And I know a lot of people have this problem and like, honestly, Honestly, after I get it done, okay. I'm probably gonna be like, 100% recommend any single person that has an insecurity like that because I've been watching other videos and like when I go swimming I have to wear a hat because like when I come up you can see like my hair is super thin so in the front. So you have to shave your whole head? See that's the thing some people shave their whole oh. head because it's easier for surgery. That's gonna be so other hard people, for you to do that. Other huh? companies say that they don't have to shave your whole head. Oh. I don't want to shave my whole head. When I get my hair transplant when it grows back like I could spike it up finally like my forehead's gonna look like really good. I could spike it up slick it back do whatever so oh. my my I'm hair doesn't for you. right now all my hair is getting thrown forward like you can see the hair right here is growing way back here and it's getting thrown forward because yeah. like you know how like a lot of people have that style where they throw their hair forward well mine yeah. mine throws it forward also covers my forehead that's why some people i know like a lot of people in our family like bill's got a weird hairstyle it's not because his hair it's a weird hairstyle. i literally cannot style my hair it's guys I don't styling. have a style for my hair. Like, I don't know if you noticed, I've struggled every single day. I struggle with trying to style it. And it literally takes me like a half mm -hmm. hour to an hour. And sometimes I get really frustrated because I can't, dude, I don't have a haircut. Ever since I was a little kid, like I've never had a certain haircut that has looked good. Like I get faded on the side and it looks good, but the you top hair, hair has never you looked good. Yeah, hair. when I was younger, I always had Bieber hair as that well. That was like your hairstyle. But my hair will be thinning probably within the next 10 years. Not as bad as my dad. Also, I'm not really as stressed because I know like a lot of people that have a lot of stress gets their hair thinner faster. Yeah. But either way, we're going to try to get this procedure done. Most likely this year. gonna get done this year. I also want to get it done before our wedding. And who knows when she's gonna get proposed to or when we're gonna get married. I don't know. Do you know? No, no. I don't know. So uh, I also <laughs> want it done for that. Now remember, this is all my decision, guys. I want you guys to be as supportive as you can. This is all me. I've literally been thinking about this for years and just know I I would love Bill whether he had no hair, he had a lot of hair. Yeah. He is handsome to me in my eyes and always will be, but I know this is something that Bill is gonna help him feel a little bit more confident. And, and I'll have this for the rest of my life. Yeah. And I'll be able to I'll be able to do everything without even like worrying I'm so about excited. like I'm working out, like I, I can't fix my own head. Like I could work out and get skinnier because I want to get cut, but like I can't 
I can't, you know, do that. And it's not plastic surgery. Like, it's literally like taking a plant from one side of the garden and planting it somewhere else and it grows. Oh, and I heard that you don't, some people don't, they don't numb you. No, they give you anesthesia. Oh, they shots do? Shots in your head. Oh, so why did... But they don't put you under. They just give you a little, like, numbing shots. It still hurts a little bit. Like, ah! you know, I could but. not imagine that pain. I'm gonna give you a lot of credit, baby. I'm gonna be, I feel like I'm gonna be anxious for you just because I want you to feel good. Guys, please support me along this journey. Get ready because this is gonna be a crazy, crazy experience. We're gonna get all the ins and outs of this process moving forward. We're I don't know. you guys know to his consultation. Exactly when we're gonna do this, but it's gonna be soon. Like I'm, I'm actively looking for people right now and um, I would love to work with a company, but if we can't find a company that we also can work with, I would just go probably to the nearest best rated hair transplant facility. I don't so know what, get you, ready. what you call it. Because but next video that we do that's about the only going to be about the hair is going to be probably the I, consultation. I say, getting getting ready for my hair transplant surgery. There might be a little clips in there about yeah, the surgery. Yeah, it is. I want to film it everything. Is. I want to film everything. I want to film the whole experience. Duh. No blood though. No blood. We don't do blood. No, don't not, not like, that. We're going to film as much as we can. Yeah. Do the before and after. Oh. Subscribe to our channel if you have not already as well because you are going to see the transformation before and after it's like getting anything getting a nose job getting anything it's like you see how it was before and how it is now and it's like oh my gosh and hair is way more definitive as like then like if you got a breast implant or a nose or a butt or anything like hair is just like it's so crazy seeing the before and after of some of these people yeah it is like after this video you can look up online like hair transplant before and after you'll be like dude he went from like having no hair to literally have a full head it's of hair. Insane. It's like, where did they get it from? It's insane how, how science works, basically. Yeah. But thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Each thumbs up for every follicle of hair that I'm getting transplanted. How and many I'm follicles do you think that probably is? Probably like 10,000. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know. That's I don't know. Oh, there's they're 10, gonna, and it's all individual. Follicles? Yeah, follicles. Follicles. Hair follicles, yeah. Follicles. You know you have like millions. Like. That's insane. Oh my, that's just insane to think the, about. Guys, give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys understand what I'm doing, what's going on, and he's about to be a whole new man. I'm about, in the next I'm about year. to be a whole new boy. I'm so excited for him, guys. It's gonna be. Such I'm gonna come a out of the thing. pool. Slick yeah, back. it's gonna be like Bill. Like, so. Bill's gonna be on a whole new level. I'm gonna be that. I'm literally gonna be that 80 year old grandpa with that yeah, that, is, like, that bougie, hair that like, everyone wants. Man, be bougie, like, damn. Yeah. yeah. Even though that that he didn't grow that at birth, still. I just wanna say, guys, this would not be possible without you guys. Like oh, yeah. actually, like you guys have changed our lives for the better, and I'm so thankful that Bill's able to be able to get this procedure done for himself. And, and I'm so thankful for every single one of you guys. Yeah. Again, we can't do like 90% of the stuff. That that we do without the support of you and you guys watching our videos and liking them following us on instagram like every little thing that you do to support us really just like helps us become better people and also be able to do things and show you things mm -hmm. that you normally wouldn't be able to see but we will see you guys in the next video, video. but until then peace, peace. Love, love you guys, guys.